Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, as you could tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are talking about Salomon Great. We are going to go over the Salomon Great combos, and more so just kind of a guide, uh, a more so basic guide on how to play Salomon Great. Now, this is specifically designed for Master Duel, but the concepts will apply to both the TCG as well as the OCG. But of course, it will be mostly for Master Duel, where we have Gazelle at 2 and a lot of other things that are uh, important for Salomon Great. So let's quickly go over the cards that uh, that are of note. Um, starting off here, we are going to start off with the actual Salomon Great uh, with Gazelle. Gazelle is currently at 2 in Master Duel, and I don't know why. This card is absolutely crazy. If a Salomon Great monster is sent to your graveyard... You just special it from the hand. Also, on normal or special, you get to send a Salomon Great card from your deck to the graveyard. It's a foolish burial that also special summons itself, while also being a 3. Now, this is important for Mirage Stalio plays, but yeah, all in all, this is an absolutely insane card because it allows you to get additional follow-up off of things like a Jack Jaguar or a Foxy or a Spinny or something like that that you want to send to the graveyard, or you can add a disruption by sending something like a Rage or a Roar to the graveyard, which could then be added back off of a relinked Sunlight Wolf. So, pretty nice. Next up, we have the normal summon for the archetype being Foxy. If this card is normaled, you excavate the top three cards of your deck and then add an excavated Salomon Great card from your deck to your hand. Shuffle the rest into the deck. Pretty simple, but this basically just allows you to add something like potentially a Gazelle before linking off into a Baylinx or a myriad of other cards. A Circle, you could even potentially see a Roar or Rage or what have you. Very, very good. Um, it doesn't whiff all too often, but it does whiff occasionally, so do keep that in mind. Uh, however, it has a secondary effect, which is very nice. Now, these are mutually exclu exclusive, whereas with Gazelle, you can utilize both. Uh, this one, you can either use the normal summon effect or the special summon from Grave effect. Um, but basically, if you have a uh, face-up spell trap on the field, or if there is a face-up spell trap on the field, you could discard a salad card from your hand in order to special summon this. So you could pitch something like a spinny, which is very nice, um, in order to get a free special summon. So if you don't want to actually utilize the normal summon effect, you could just link it off and then bring it back as long as you uh, just uh, get your Sanctuary. Next up, we have Jack Jaguar. You shuffle back a card and special summon this card to a link point. So you shuffle back one of your Salomon Great Monsters, I should specifically say, in order to special summon this to a link point, which is very good for a Sunlight Wolf, um, as well as it's just kind of the biggest statted monster, while also being a level 4, which is very nice. Um, on top of that, <clears throat> it being able to shuffle things back means that you probably don't run out of materials like the Sunlight Wolf or Mirage Stalio or what have you. So yeah, overall a very, very strong card. Next up we have Spinny. Spinny can discard itself to uh, increase the attack of a monster on the field or special summon itself back from the grave. Just free special. Uh, also, it gets banished when it, it when it leaves the field, but honestly, that doesn't really matter all that much because it is a free special, meaning you can not only discard itself uh, in order to special summon itself, it's, you know, it's able to uh, also boost attack, which is pretty nice, but it also procs the Sunlight Wolf. And then we have the three cards that are less often played, uh, but all have their own merits. Falco, if it is sent to the graveyard, adds a, or sorry, sets a Salomon, Salomon Great spell trap from the grave, also, it can special summon itself by returning a Salomon Great card to the hand. So if you have something like a Gazelle on your side of the field that you don't want to use as link material, you could just bounce it back to your hand and bring back the Falco, which then could be used as material, allowing for the Gazelle to be used on the following turn. We also have Mirror, which can special summon itself by discarding a card from your hand, uh, or sorry, a Salomon Great card as well from your hand in order to special summon itself. This can get things like Jack Jaguar into the graveyard, which is very nice. But more importantly, if it is searched off of something like a Salomon Great Circle, you are able to freely special it. This one is the least common to see in builds, and the reason for it is because it is a little situational. It being a level 2 doesn't really help either uh, with going for things like a Mirage Stalio or a Bagusco or what have you. Um, but it is nice overall just to have. It can potentially like clear up some gummy hands um so i like including at least one of this card in my builds um but that's up to you <clears throat> and then we have foul uh this card just special summons itself if you special or normal another salomon great um so you just 
special out this guy in addition. Uh, and then it does have a way to lock out a back row, which isn't all that important. Obviously, we have circle. It's a quick play search, as well as protection for a relinked or a relinked uh, Salomon Great Link monster, which is very nice. On top of that, uh, it's just a, a quick play, which means you can activate it on your turn and then activate it on your opponent's turn and then activate it again on your turn um, off of, you know, setting it with like a Falco or returning it with a uh, a Sunlight Wolf or what have you. So it's very, very good overall. And it, there's a reason you play three of it. Next up, we have a Sanctuary. Normally, you only play the one. Sometimes people will play two, but in all reality, you only need the one, and that is because you can search it off of Baylinks. On Summon, Baylinks will search out the um, the Sanctuary, so that's very nice. Will of the Salomon Great is basically an additional summon. Uh, you just plop this down, and then you can either special summon um, from hand, uh, or you can summon from Grave, which is very nice. You can also summon up to two monsters if you have something, or actually technically three monsters, if you have a relinked monster. So having something like a relinked Sunlight Wolf or a relinked Heatleo, uh, you can send it to the graveyard to special summon out additional monsters. Then we have Rage and Roar. Roar is a Omni Negate counter trap as long as you have a Salomon Great Link monster. And Rage allows you to... Um, to either send a Salomon Great monster from your hand or field it to the graveyard to destroy a card, or... This is the effect that's more often used with Rage. You can target a Salomon Great Link monster that was relinked, and then you can pop cards up to the number of Link er, link rating. Uh, so it's basically like a non-targeting treacherous trap hole, except can also hit back row. So yeah, it's very, very good. Uh, next up, we have the other important cards that are played. We have things like Cyanide Mining as well as Flame Bufferlo. Flame Bufferlo is probably the best card to start with because... If, you, if it leaves the field, you get to chain block it in order to not only discard a Cybers monster, but also draw two. The discarding the Cybers monster is actually very good and is advantageous for us because, again, things like the Jack Jaguar, the Foxy, the Spinny, all of these cards do uh, allow themselves to be brought back. Uh, and drawing two off of it is very nice. And then we have a sign up mining. Obviously, you ditch a card to add a card. And guess what? If either off of Flame Buffalo or off of a Cyanet Mining, you are able to end up with a Gazelle in your hand and you ended up pitching a Salomon Great Monster, you are then able to freely special summon it the Gazelle. Why does this work? I don't know, but it does. Uh, I think it's due to the fact that we don't know for certain if a Gazelle was actually in the opponent's hand or in your hand. Therefore, when it shows up, even if you were to search it off of a Cyanet Mining, we can't say that you didn't have another one. Therefore, you are able to activate it. I think that's more or less what it is I'm sure someone who actually is a judge could explain it more thoroughly, but yeah, that's more or less why. Anyway, um, so that's basically the core of the deck. As for the rest of the deck, it is entirely dependent on what you expect to see in a given meta. Most of the time, you're just playing hand trap control. Things like Ash Blossom and Maxi are basically a requirement, as well as the called by, because Maxi is a card that exists. But uh, you can also play things like DD Crow if you're playing against a lot of branded. You have things like Nibiru to stop the heavy combo decks or Imperm to stop things like Flunder. We also have Desires to draw more cards. And since we now have Gazelle at more than one, I do think that Desires is probably worth it to play. Things like Harpy's Feather Duster as well are included. As for the extra deck, Normally, you want to run three Baylinks, but the reason I'm only putting two in here is because I wanted to showcase the Heatleo stuff as well, so we have that in here as well. We have the Triple Sunlight Wolf, Triple Baylinks. That's pretty standard. We have one Mirage Stalio. This card is very interesting. You can detach a material from this card to special summon a Sal Salomon Great monster from your deck in defense position, and then you cannot activate monster effects for the rest of this turn except fire monsters. So do keep that in mind. You cannot use any other effects except for fires. So don't go Mirage Stalio and then expect to go into like a splash mage to bring something back because you're not going to be able to. Then if this XZ summon card was sent to the graveyard as material for the link summon of a Salomon Great monster, you could target a monster on the field and return it to the hand. So this allows you to utilize this card on the opponent's turn or not on the opponent's turn, um, on your turn, uh, in order to potentially deal with a problematic boss monster. Uh, this is really very, blah, blah, blah. this is very good for going second because again, you just link it off and then all of a sudden you're able to deal with another opponent's monster. Um, yeah, Sunlight Wolf, I didn't even talk about this guy, uh, nor did I talk about Baylinx. So we'll talk about them. Uh, Baylinx is a link one that just requires a level four or lower, a Cybers monster, which is very, very good. 
Also, it adds Sanctuary on Summon, and you can banish it from the grave in order to protect your Salomon Great cards. Um, this includes things like Will and Sanctuary. Both of those will be safe. Um, and then if you had a face-up trap like Gift, you could also utilize, uh, you could also protect that. So yeah, overall, very solid card. Um, and since it banishes for cost, it's not an activated effect that could be stopped. Next up, we have Sunlight Wolf. Um, if this card is... Um, if it is used, sorry, if it, if it uses itself as a link material, you can use the effect to add a spell trap from your graveyard to your hand, um, or a Salomon Great spell trap. Also, if a monster is normal or special to a zone this card point, or yeah, this card points to, you get to add back a Salomon Great monster from your deck to your, or from your grave to your hand, sorry, not from your deck. Um, so yeah, you can add back a gazelle or what have you. However, do keep in mind that you cannot summon it for the rest of the turn. You just cannot summon it or monsters with the same name for the rest of the turn. So if you add back Gazelle, you're not going to be able to use it again. So don't like dump Gazelle off of like a foolish or something like that. Um, all right, moving on to non-archetypal cards or other important cards. Heat Soul. This is one of the reasons why Salomon Great is so good. First of all, you can make this very easily. Second of all, it is a fire, so even if you go into Mirage Salio, you are still able to make this card. And third, but most importantly, you are able to utilize this effect to draw cards the most efficiently. The reason for this is because you can play a myriad of hand traps, as you can see up at the top here, in order to slow down your opponent. You can also play a myriad of different tech cards as well um, and throw those in. So inside the deck formats, this card in particular sees a lot more play and is much more heavily utilized uh, due to the fact that you are able to just control the duel uh, more easily as seeing the side to deck cards matters a lot more. Seeing something like a Lancia or what have you against something like Flu or Tri Brigade can really slow them down. Next up, we have Ling Garibo. Technically, you can tribute it in order to negate a trap card or... What is most often utilized for is to summon the Heat Soul. Basically, you just summon any level 4 lower Cyrus monster, you link it off into this guy with a Sunlight Wolf, and then you are able to go into Heat Soul, because it does require two Cyrus monsters with different attributes. Next up, we have Splash Mage. Splash, Splash Mage is a reborn for Cyrus monsters. Uh, you just special it in defense. Pretty nice. And then you just link it away for, again, Heat Soul. Um, yeah. I oftentimes like to play two of this card, um, and I just take out like the Heat Leos and stuff. But overall, uh, it's up to you. This card is very good, though. Next up, we have Transcode Talker. Transcode is also another way to reborn a monster just by uh, specialing it to a zone this guy points to. Um, but he is the main way that you go into access code uh, through Update Jammer. So you go bring back something with a Transcode Talker, you go into the Update Jammer, and then you make access code, and then you attack for a lot of damage. Next up, we have Heat Leo. Heat Leo on Link Summon is able to target a card your opponent controls and shuffle it into the deck. This is very nice. Uh, sorry, not a card, a spell trap. Um, this is very nice because it's not once per turn, meaning if you go Heat Leo into Heat Leo, you can get rid of two cards your opponent controls. Um, that's very good. Overall, uh, you could deal with potentially problematic floodgates, and since you could utilize itself as material, um, it means that, again, you can get rid of things uh, that may have been a problem. Next up, we have the Baguska. Baguska is just very good. We play fours, uh, and they're pretty easy to summon overall. You can play this with something like um, Parallel Exceed as well, uh, but if you are playing things like Foul or the Jack Jaguars, uh, that should be enough to just go into the um, into Baguska. Uh, but this isn't too necessary, and honestly, isn't something that you make all the time. So let's hop into the replay or uh, hop into the duels and uh, show you how this works. All right, so here we have the first combo, that being Flame Buffalo and something that can revive itself. This could either be Foxy, Spinny, or Jack Jaguar. All three will be fine. So let's start off with the normal summon of the Flame Buffalo. We're going to then link this off immediately into the um, into the Bailings. Now, there is a way that you want to chain block this, and uh, it's basically you want to go Flame Buffalo 
as chain link one and chain block it with chain link two of the bay links. The reason for this is because the bay links searching out the site, uh, the sanctuary is not nearly as important. And the reason for this is while sanctuary does allow you to relink a monster, you can just utilize the monster with an extra material in order to go into something uh, of the same name. So if you have a sunlight wolf, you can use sunlight wolf and another monster in order to go into a second sunlight wolf or with heat Leo, you could use sunlight wolf and another monster to go into uh, uh or sorry you could use uh sunlight wolf and a heat leo in order to go into a heat leo but again mostly it's just to go for the sunlight wolf so realistically you don't even need to have the sanctuary here we're gonna act as if we don't get hand trapped here and we are going to add this card to our hand um we're also going to make sure that we send this to the graveyard and then draw two so we're going to draw two here we doesn't really matter what we draw but um yeah pretty good there. Uh, we could draw hand traps, we could draw additional follow-up, we could draw a myriad of different things. So we're going to go for the, um, yeah, we're going to go for the effect here of our spinny. We're just going to special summon it, and then we are going to go for the, uh, for the sunlight wolf. Sending both of these to the graveyard. Then we can activate the effect of our sanctuary here, and we can relink our sunlight wolf utilizing our sunlight wolf. Uh, this would also get banished. So this is a basic combo. And then again, because we have something like Will of the Salomon Great, or potentially, you know, we draw into Gazelle, or we are able to uh, discard a Jack Jaguar instead of a Spinny, or uh, I mean, Jack Jaguar there wouldn't be nearly as good because then we would have to relink our bay links in order to get a material for the jack jaguar to shuffle back um but yeah that's more or less the basic combo with getting to a relinked sunlight wolf all right so here we have gazelle or just circle any any way to really get a gazelle into your hand okay so we're going to start off with gazelle here and we are just going to normal summon it and activate its effect the effect that we want to utilize is entirely dependent on well not entirely dependent on the hand um, but if you don't have a spinny specifically in your hand or a way to get to spinny, it is oftentimes better to go for the Jack Jaguar. However, if you do have spinny, uh, just go for something like a Sunlight Wolf, or, or sorry, a Rage or a Roar here. Um, but we are going to then send our Jack Jaguar to the graveyard, and we are going to link off our Gazelle in order to go into a Bay Lynx. And that's right, we're going to have the Bay Lynx search out our uh, sanctuary. Now, the sanctuary actually is very important with this specific combo because we do actually need to utilize um, the the right. sanctuary for this. Uh, so we're going to go for our. Now we can either go for the Jack Jaguar effect activation to shuffle back the gazelle. This is dependent on what else you have. Uh, if you don't have any follow up, this one's okay, but it's not great. Um, in all honesty, it's never really good to shuffle back the gazelle. Uh, so instead, what we're going to do is we're going to relink our bay links and utilize the effect of our sanctuary here to do that. And then we will shuffle back the uh, the bay links in order to go for our special summon of the Jack Jaguar. If it would special summon, thank you. Uh, and then we can send both of these to graveyard in order to go for our uh, our sunlight wolf. So there, once again, we have access to the Sunlight Wolf. And again, from there, we could potentially go for a Spinny. We could go for a uh, Foxy. We could have a normal summon something. We could just set Circle and Hope, right? Um, we could set Rage. We could set Roar. Uh, we could have a whole bunch of hand traps and the like. Um, so, yeah, there's that. However, normally, Salomon Greats do better when they have additional cards, additional salads in their hand. So I'll show you some combos with those. All right, so this is basically any normal summon and any way to get another body onto your field. So that being something like a Jack Jaguar, Spinny, Fowl, something like that, right? Any way to get basically two bodies onto your field without committing to something like a relink, right? Um, so again, Will will do this. Will of the Salomon Great will do this. Spinny and Fowl all will do this because yeah, on, on normal summon, we get to do this. We're going to take Jack Jaguar since it doesn't really get us as much advantage off of something uh, or uh, compared to something like a um, Buffalo or a Foxy. So we're going to go and start with the normal summon of Jack Jaguar and we are just going to immediately link it off for a Bay Lynx. Um, we're going to just act as if the Foul and the Will are just not in our hand uh, and we're going to go for the uh, Bay Lynx effect in order to again search out the Sanctuary. Now, if you have Sanctuary in your starting hand, uh, you don't need to search this out, so 
there's that come easily. Um, uh, but yeah, then we are going to just discard this, which there it is. We're going to discard, we're going to boost up, and then we're going to special summon this guy. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, where, where does it? There it is. There it is. It's so hard to see sometimes. And then we will send both of these cards to the graveyard in order to grab up our Sunlight Wolf. Now at this point, this is banished. Now at this point, we can go and activate our Sanctuary and we can relink again in order to go into the second of the Sunlight Wolves. The reason for this is because it keeps the Bay Links in the graveyard, which adds protection for us, while also keeping the uh, getting a target for the Jack Jaguar. So we're gonna go for the Jack Jaguar here and we are going to shuffle back our Sunlight Wolf in order to go and special summon out the Jack Jaguar. Jack Jaguar will then proc the effect of the Sunlight Wolf. However, we don't have anything in Grave that we really want to activate. Uh, uh, to add back to hand. So instead, we're just not going to activate that, right? Now, if we had Gazelle access, this would allow us to potentially add something like a uh, Gazelle back to our hand. It would also allow us to, uh, at this point, since we have relinked this, we could add back the Roar that we may have dumped. We could add back a Circle that may have gotten us to something like the Jack Jaguar. So very good up until this point. But now we can actually activate, or sorry, link this off in order to go into our Lingaribo. Now here we can link off all three of these, or all two of these, <laughs> in order to go into our, uh, where is he? Heat Soul. Uh, and then we can go for the Heat Soul and we can activate the effect in order to draw another card off of it by paying a thousand life points any day now. Uh, Tron Gazelle, that's pretty funny. But yeah, as you can see, that is the basic combo. You basically just want any two monsters that are able to bring themselves back. Uh, and then we can go for the Heat Soul line. This just ends on Heat Soul, which basically draws you two cards over the course of the opponent's turn, as well as yours. All you have to do is make sure that your toggle is on, uh, on Master Duel, make sure that that's on. And then in the draw phase, you just draw an additional card, which could be something like a Maxi or a uh, Nibiru or Ash or what have you. So very important to keep that toggle on so that you're able to actually interact with your opponent there. So. Let's hop into a, another new or another combo to show you. All right. So let's say we have Flame Buffalo, a way to get to Gazelle, as well as something that can revive itself. I'm going to use Foxy here because it is one that we haven't used and is a little bit more interesting. So we are going to start off with the normal summon of Flame Buffalo. We're then going to obviously link it off for the Bay Links. Uh, and then we will activate the effect chain link one chain link two allowing us to go for the search of our sanctuary as well as the um the discard of foxy i always forget you got a discard first uh in order to draw two so we're going to shuffle that up and then we're going to draw two and we did need to hit a salomon great name here i guess we didn't really need to but it does help quite significantly um so yeah there we go uh, and then we get to go and activate our Gazelle to special summon itself. So we're going to special summon out the Gazelle here, which will then allow us to pitch a card. So we're going to send either the Rage or the Roar, since we have access to both of them. Rage can, or sorry, Roar can bring itself back if you relink a monster, um, but we're going to go for the Rage here. I think it's slightly better. We're then going to link both of these guys off in order to go into our... Uh, into our Sunlight Wolf. We're then going to activate the Sanctuary and we are going to relink our Sunlight Wolf here to go for the second Sunlight Wolf. Now, you can also play around the uh, the opponent's hand traps. For example, if you suspect that they might have something like Imperm, maybe you want to go and activate your Foxy effect first, discarding the Salomon Grate from your hand in order to special summon itself to the link point of the Sunlight Wolf, allowing you to add a card off of the Sunlight Wolf, adding back either the Gazelle or the Rage, right? Uh, you could also add back Flame Bufferlow since it isn't a Salomon Great card so much as it is a, um, uh, sorry, it's a fire monster. So you can't add back the Rage off of the uh, Link Point. Sorry. Uh, you add it back the Rage off of the Relink effect. So at this point, we could activate the effect to add back the Rage to our hand. We then can activate our Foxy effect by discarding the Foul. So we send this to the graveyard and then we special summon the, the Foxy. Uh, sorry. Move to link point make sure you make sure you summon it to link point don't activate the effects to pop a card don't don't do it you're gonna pop your own sanctuary just keep it around it's very nice to have 
But now we get to add back either the Gazelle or the Flame Buffalo, depending on our hand. If we have another discard, it's probably better to actually go for the Flame Buffalo. But you could also just add the Gazelle, and then if your opponent deals with one of your Salomon Great Monsters, boom, you get a special summon this guy. Um, but we're actually going to just add back the uh, Gazelle here, since it just is the better option most of the time. Then we're going to send both of these to... Or, sorry. Not this one. Hold on, hold on. We're going to link this one off into the Lingaribo, and then, of course, into the Heat Soul, allowing us to draw two cards. Well, technically one. Um, then we're going to draw a card, pay a thousand, draw a card, you know. There it is. Uh, the second Gazelle. Fantastic. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, why did we go for the Relink if... Or why did we go for uh, the Link Monster of Heat Soul if we had Rage? Isn't Rage better with a Salomon Great Link Monster? Yes. But this is also why we went for Rage specifically. Because guess what? We have Gazelle. We can just send to Gazelle and we still get that pop. And then we also get to draw cards off of the uh, Heat Soul. So we draw the Imperm there, which isn't great. But at the very least, you know, we have Maxi, we have Imperm. We're draw so far, we've drawn four cards over the course of our turn. So not bad overall. And those could, again, be hand traps. Now, you don't have to play Imperm. You could play something like Droll or Ghost Ogre or Effect Veiler or what have you, which do happen to be a little bit better. But overall, you still do get to draw. So I could have done something off of that, right? Overall, pretty nice. All right, so here we have Foxy, Spinny, and Gazelle. Obviously, Spinny... You can find something, either the Gazelle or the Spinny, or access to one of them off of the Foxy. So, do keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, you do need to have access to multiple threes for this combo. We're going to go through the Mirage Stallio line. So we're going to say that we banish off of the Foxy, or we reveal off of the Foxy, and we end up getting Spinny here. So we're then going to utilize the effect, uh, or sorry, we're going to go for the Bay Links here. We're going to activate the Bay Links effect in order to grab up our Sanctuary. Obviously, this is the line you are going to see every time. I should really just continually have the Sanctuary in the hand. Don't know why I don't do this, but alas. Uh, anyway, we are then going to go for the Sanctuary, and obviously, since our monster was sent to the graveyard, we are going to be able to special summon the Gazelle and activate its effect, since it was sent to the graveyard off of the Link Summon. We are then going to send... We could send Jack Jaguar. We could send uh, Roar. Well, we're going to send Roar this time, because we will end on a Salomon Great. Um, so we're going to send the Roar here. And then we are going to go for the... Uh, for the spinny effect here. And we are going to send this guy to the graveyard. Uh, hold on. I have to think through this line. Yeah, we're going to go like the... No. No, I lied. Come back. Come back. And then we're also going to special summon this guy. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I'm not... <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so we bring back the spinny, and then we get to go and overlay these two. Now, sorry, I was thinking we had Foxy that we could special summon, but we'd already utilized the first effect. So yeah, we go for this, and we get to go for the Mirage Stallio. So we're going to go for the Mirage Stallio. This allows us to, again, detach material, special summon a Salomon Great Monster from your deck and defense position, um, and then it can't activate its effects. So we're going to detach the spinny here, and we're going to special summon out from the deck a... Uh, let me just make sure. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to go for the Jack Jaguar. So we're going to special summon out the Jack Jaguar. Then we're going to send this card and this card to the graveyard in order to go for the Heatleo. And then we will relink the Heatleo here. Um, up, up, up. There we go. And then we can go for the Jack Jaguar. And Spinny actually does go to the graveyard in this instance. So you could shuffle back the Spinny if you so chose. But it does have a hard once per turn. So do keep that in mind. We could also bring back the Roar here. But we could also just add it back to our hand. So there's that. Uh, we're actually going to go and utilize the uh, this effect in order to go for the... We're going to shuffle back the Foxy. Up, 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 up. Shuffle back the Foxy. And we're going to special summon this guy. Uh, and then we're also going to add back the Roar off of the Sunlight Wolf. We can then also just link these two off. We can link off this guy um, and the Mirage Stallio if we so chose. Um, but we can just go for the Link or the Lingaribo. Now we could also go and uh, 
make the heat soul here as well. Uh, or we could actually go and... Uh, we are locked into fire monsters, so we can't actually go and make the uh, splash mage. But, you know, we could if we wanted to. Um, there are a myriad of different things that we could do off of this. Uh, or we could just keep the Mirage Shalio on our field if we so need to, you know? Um, but we're going to just... Oh, oh, no, 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 not what I wanted. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so we're going to set this. Set it. There we go. And uh, make the link Lingaribo. Special summon. And then if we wanted to, again, we could link these off into like a Heat Leo. Uh, we could link the the Lingaribo and the Heat Soul or the Talon Great Sunlight Wolf into a Heat Soul and potentially draw more cards um, or what have you, right? Oh, we also didn't add back the Spinny. Sorry, we can add back the spinny off of the Sunlight Wolf's effect there. So now we have the spinny in hand if we need to as well. And this is, again, why I think Rage is a little bit better, because, again, we can just link this off into Heat Soul. But, yeah, here we're going to end on uh, the Roar as well as the Sunlight Wolf. And this doesn't seem very good, but, again, remember that, like, we probably have, like, a Hand Trap or two in our hands. Um, and then, like, Roar is enough to really kind of slow opponents down. And then on the following turn, what you can do is... Let's say some of your materials are gone. Doesn't really matter. You are able to go and special summon things like the Spinny. We can bring back the Jack Jaguar as well. Um, we have like protection with the Bay Links. And then we can just go into um, into update. I know this isn't actually a link zone, but it's fine. Um, update into access code. Right. So that's kind of the idea is you just survive long enough. You slow them down long enough uh, to where you can just go update access code pop a whole bunch of their cards, deal with their board pretty efficiently, and then just kill them really easily. All right, so let's say you have Circle in particular, as well as Foxy. This is something that you can do if you are playing Falco in particular. So we're going to actually just uh, go for the normal summon here uh, and not actually activate the effect of our Foxy, because that is something that you could do, because we want to specifically bring it back. I said Foxy. This could be uh, Foxy, Jack Jaguar, or uh, Spinny. Basically anything that revives itself. Um, so we're going to go for the Circle here, and we are going to add it to our hand. Obviously, the Gazelle. We're then going to link this off. This also goes to the grave, uh, which will then proc the... I did it again. I forgot to keep the uh, uh, the sanctuary, but that's okay. And then this will allow us to go for the gazelle. Gazelle effect will activate, and we are actually going to dump here the falco. Um, Where is it? There it is. So we're going to dump the falco here. And the reason for this is because this will allow us to set our circle. Uh, the Falco goes to the grave, we get to set the circle, and then there we go. This is very specifically good in hands where you kind of just need like additional protection or like you have a whole bunch of uh, gas cards and maybe you want that protection from circle so that you are able to survive that turn, right? Um, so normally it's like if you have other cards like Mir or Gazelle or Fowl uh, or not Gazelle, Jack Jaguar or Spinny or something, something else along those lines. And then obviously we can just go and link these off and do the whole um, Sunlight Wolf, right? Uh, but you do specifically want to end on a on a relinked Sunlight Wolf or a relinked uh, Heat Leo because this only protects monsters that have been relinked, that have been used, that have used a monster of the same name as Link Material. So. Do keep that in mind with Circle in particular. You could also utilize the Falco in order to uh, recycle one of your Rages. So say, for example, you utilized... Uh, or sorry, your Rage or your Roar. So say, for example, you utilized Rage on the following turn, and then you had Gazelle in your hand. So let's say we utilize both Rage and Roar, and uh, this is not in the grave. Um, now we can actually go and normal summon our Gazelle. This will allow us to dump the uh, the Falco, which is literally on the top of the deck. And then the Falco can then set our, our Roar, our Rage, or what have you, right? Um, and then we could also get the other one back with a Relink Sunlight Wolf as well. So those are things to keep in mind. And this is why I do like Falco. Uh, it also could just... You could just dump it, not activate that effect, and then bounce the gazelle back to your hand in order to get another material onto your field um, while keeping gazelle access available. Uh, so that's another really cool thing that you can do. Uh, so we'll just showcase that you bounce this. 
to the hand and then here we get a trigger and we get to add the foxy to our hand and then we get to send both of these to the graveyard and say our opponent had two set cards or three set cards or what have you we get to go heat leo here i'm going to show you the case this as well we get to go heat leo here and we haven't used sanctuary but the heat leo effect will activate shuffling back one of our opponent's cards we're going to say that this one was the one that they had uh, so this will go to the top of the deck and then let's say that they had another one Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Dispel Trap. There we go. Let's say they had another one, another card. Again, you can link this off for another Heat Leo. Boom. Second Heat Leo. Utilizing the Sanctuary's effect. And you get to activate it again, shuffling away another card. So this goes away again. Also, it does have an effect that does matter. It allows you to get over big monsters, uh, but that doesn't really come up all that often um, because you could just go access code. So there's that. There you go. Let's hop into the next combo. All right. So let's say your hand is all gas. What can you potentially end on? So let's start off with the normal summon of Jack Jaguar. This could also be a foxy. You don't have to utilize the effect of the foxy here because, again, your hand is pretty good. So we're going to send this guy to the graveyard and obviously go for the Bailings. Bailings effect will activate and we're going to search out the card that I continually forget to just constantly have. Um, so we'll go for the Sanctuary here and we will activate it. And then this will also trigger our Gazelle. Gazelle will activate in order to dump a card and we are going to dump to the graveyard the Rage. Again, good wee boy. Doesn't really matter. Whichever one you want to go for. And in this case, it actually doesn't matter because we are going to both end on a Heat Soul as well as a Sunlight Wolf. So we're going to then link both of these two off in order to go into our, uh, our Sunlight Wolf. Now, again, these are specific cards, but they don't actually have to be these specific cards. As I mentioned, you could utilize the Foxy. You could utilize a different... Uh, basically, just any way. Like, Foul would also work here. Um... Uh, if you wanted to, like, if you had Circle instead of one of the monsters, that would work. Uh, you don't need Will. You could have more monsters that are able to special summon themselves. It's just ways to specifically special summon cards. Um, however, the Will is actually very good here, uh, just not necessary. We are then going to go for the uh, Sunlight Wolf Relink here, and then we are going to activate the effect of our Will. We're going to activate its effect in order to send itself to the graveyard. Here, let me show you. Um... You can send this face-up card from your field to the graveyard. Target a Salomon Great Link monster you control that was Link Summon using a card of the same material. Special su Summon, or same name as material. Special Summon a Salomon Great monster from your hand and or graveyard in de defense position up to that monster's Link rating. So this allows us to get two materials onto our side of the field instead of just one. So what we are going to do is we are going to Special Summon the Gazelle as well as the Jack Jaguar. Now I'm actually not going to activate the effect of our Sunlight Wolf here, and the reason for that is pretty simple, but basically we just don't want to... to uh, add anything uh we want to add the gazelle here um so we're actually go going to just link these two off and guess what we can actually go for splash mage this is the first time that splash mage has come up but trust me it comes up a lot more often because oftentimes you are able to have um a lot more cards uh and and you're able to go into splash mage this happens pretty regularly where you have a lot of your names and so you can go into splash mage splash mage is effect will uh, also trigger, sorry, Splash Mage's summon will trigger the Sunlight Wolf, which will add the Gazelle to our hand, and then Splash Mage effect will special summon the Jack Jaguar. We are then going to use both of these guys in order to go to, to the graveyard with them in order to summon out the uh, the Heat Soul, right? Uh, we can then utilize the Heat Soul in order to draw a card, and as you can see, we still have the Gazelle and the Spinny available to us. This is just to showcase, like, hey, if you have the Will of the Salomon Great, you can do that. Oh, also, we get to add uh, off of the Sunlight Wolf the Rage that we dumped. Um, but yeah, this is just going to show, like, if you have Will, you can do this. Uh, you could also do this with Jack Jaguar and a Spinny. You get the same amount of materials. You're still able to go into the Splash Mage. You're not locked into anything. Uh, you could also go into Mirage Stallio if you wanted to. You could bring back the Gazelle and the Spinny. Um, and then utilize the Jack Jaguar. It, here, I'll show you. So let's say this one was in the extra deck. Let's put this to the top of the deck. And let's say uh, we're at this point with the Will uh instead so we're gonna go and put this to the extra deck uh what did we have in grave right we had the gazelle in grave 
and we had Jack Jack Wire. Right. Okay. So, right, just trying to remember where we were. So, we're going to add back the Rage. We're going to act as if we don't have the Will of the Salomon Great. But what we are going to do is we are going to activate the Jack Jaguar. We are going to, um, yeah, we're going to special summon this card. And then we are, again, not quite going to activate, uh, sorry, we're going to shuffle this card. We're not go going to quite activate the Sunlight Wolf here because we do want to bring back the Gazelle as well. Uh, so, we can go for the... Um, we can go for the spinny here, and then we can go, uh, yeah, so we would discard and then special summon it, and then we can go for the splash mage. Sorry, hold on. I've messed up my zones. Let's move this card. Uh, the spinny will get banished. Ba -ba -ba. And then we can utilize the splash mage in order to special summon out the gazelle here. And then, did I say we were going Mirage Salio? I lied. We're not. Uh, this was just to show you the other way of doing this. Uh, so now we can send both of these cards to the graveyard. And again, we get to end on the Heat Soul. So even if we didn't utilize the Will of the Salomon Great, basically just as long as you have enough materials to go for the... Um, uh, yeah, for like three special summons uh, or three returns from the graveyard. There you go. Heat Soul, Rage, and two more cards that were left in hand, right? Now, granted, if we did have Will of the Salomon Great, what we could have done is we could have special summoned the Spinny from our hand instead, um, as well as specialing the Gazelle from Grave. So again, we're going to take a few steps back. We're going to put this card back. We're going to act as if we activated the Will of the Salomon Great, this time special summoning the Spinny from hand so that we are able to utilize it to go into our... Um, our... Mirage Stallio. Now, the reason I don't like this one as much is because it does prevent you from going into the Splash Mage. Uh, why am I looking in there? Here we go. So yeah, now we can go for the Mirage Stallio and we can send uh, the Spinny to the grave. Now, granted, if you had brought the Spinny back off of its own effect, you could do this, uh, which would be potentially a little bit better. Um, actually, no. Hold on. All right, so now I'm going to show you what you can do if your hand is basically all gas. So there's a lot more that you can do if you have more names. The more names that you have, the more that you can do. But I'm going to show you what you more or less want to end on if you're not able to end on something like a heat soul and a bunch of hand traps. So I'm going to show you what more you can actually end on. So we're going to go and start off with the Jack Jaguar. This could be Foxy as well. Just don't activate the, the effect of the Foxy. As you can see, we already have the Sanctuary on the field. So we're going to, to kind of skip a few steps here. We're going to go for the Bailinx. And then we are going to special summon out the, our Gazelle. Gazelle will then allow us to send the Rage to the graveyard. Again, this could be Roar. Uh, we are going to end on a relinked Sun Knight Wolf. So you can go for the Roar as well. You could even dump Circle here, depending on what you want to go for. If you already have like a Roar in your hand, maybe you want to go for the Circle. Up to you. Uh, maybe you don't play Rage. I have seen that. I personally prefer Rage, uh, but Roar is definitely a must include. So then we are going to go and send both of these cards to the graveyard, allowing us to go for the Sunlight Wolf, and then, of course, go for the relink of the Sunlight Wolf. So we're going to send this card to the grave, and there we go. We can then utilize the Jack Jaguar effect in order to special summon out uh, this guy by returning the Sunlight Wolf. And then we are going to activate the effect of our Sunlight Wolf, adding to our hand the... Uh, wait, no, no. Don't activate the effect of your Sunlight Wolf just yet. Uh, you can activate the first effect, or sorry, the second effect to add back the Rage, but don't activate the first effect. We are going to special summon the Jack Jaguar, but uh, we'll talk about Will in a second. We're then going to send the Spinny to the graveyard in order to special summon out the... Uh, yeah, in order to special summon out the Spinny. This will allow us to link both of these cards off uh, with this one getting banished and then go into Splash Mage. So this is the first time that we are seeing Splash Mage, but this card is very useful. Oftentimes, you will end up with more than just one or two cards, in, or one or two names in your hand, and this is oftentimes what you will go through in order to uh, fully utilize that. Um, I oftentimes play two because it is that valuable. We're then going to, we could either special summon the Jack Jaguar or the Gazelle, um, but at this point, we are going to add the Gazelle to our hand and then special summon the Jack Jaguar, uh, off of the Splash Mage. We're adding the uh, Gazelle off of the Sunlight Wolf here. 
So there's that. And then we can utilize both of these since they are different attributes in order to go into a heat soul. Uh, there it is. And then we get to draw a card. Pay a thousand, draw a card. Cool. Uh, so now we're ending on rage as well as a potential hand trap and what have you. Now you can also do this instead of utilizing spinny. Say we still had the spinny in our hand. We're going to uh, put this guy back onto the top of our deck. We're also going to shuffle this just in case. Um, so we're going to put this back into the extra deck. We are going to also put this back into the extra deck. And we're going to go from this point uh, here after relinking our Sunlight Wolf. So uh, we're at this stage with this also in Grave. And we have the relinked Sunlight Wolf. Okay, we can also utilize a will uh, in order to... Uh, send it to the grave. Well, you activate it, send it to the graveyard, targeting your relinked Sunlight Wolf, and then you are able to special summon out two monsters. Now, we can special summon from hand or grave. So, if we wanted to do the same play we, we just did, we could, instead of banishing the spinny, we now can keep it in hand while also doing this. This also just requires you to have a will, so there's that. Um, however, we could also just utilize the first effect and just get one of the special summons and still utilize spinny. Um, but, we are going to then special summon out our Sunlight Wolf as well as the, uh, nope, not what I wanted, uh, the Gazelle. And then, of course, here we go for the Splash Mage. We bring back the Gazelle or the, uh, no, we bring back the Jack Jaguar. We bring, we link into the Heat Soul and we still end on the same stuff. This time with a Spinny in our hand. Um, and then we still have, of course, Rage as well uh, that we can have. And then there is one more thing that we can do utilizing specifically will of the salomon great we can actually end on a little bit more so what we are actually going to do is instead of utilizing the jack jaguar since we have not used the uh jack ja have we used i don't think we've used the jack jaguar's effect up until this point so what we are going to do is instead of specialing back the jack jaguar we are going to special summon it from the hand the spinning still utilizing will of the salomon great this will then allow us to go and utilize both of these cards to go for, or sorry, hold on. First and foremost, we got to go for the Jack Jaguar here. We're going to special summon and uh, shuffle back this guy. Okay. Then we're going to link off both the Spinny and the Jack Jaguar in order to go into Splash Mage. This will trigger the Sunlight Wolf. We don't actually have to trigger it here, so don't do that. Um, but yeah, you can. This will then allow us to utilize the Splash Mage in order to special summon out the Jack Jaguar. Special summon the Jack Jaguar here, or whatever else it is. Um, this could also be uh, Foxy again. And then this allows us to utilize Spinny in order to special summon it itself, and then overlay both of these in order to go for our extra deck uh mirage stallio so now we have mirage stallio access as well now we could either go for a few well, well actually i mean the obvious answer is we go for this we detach which why did this get banished this goes to grave don't know why i got banished there uh we detach the material here and go for another four we could just go for the jack jaguar uh, that we already have um but let's say we well, let's go for falco here so now we can overlay both of these in order to go into a Baguska. So this is the play that oftentimes you will want to make if you can. Just as long as you have the gas necessary to do so, do this. This is probably probably your best play. Because then, even though the Mirage Dalio is in defense position, uh, that's fine. Doesn't matter. We're going to send both this and this to the graveyard in order to go for Heat Soul. We'll special summon the Heat Soul. This will then allow us to trigger the effect of our Sunlight Wolf, which will add to our hand the Gazelle. We'll then utilize the Sunlight Wolf as well to add back the Rage. And then we can utilize the final card being the Heat Soul to draw a card. So now we have the Rage, which we can set. We have Baguska and we have Heat Soul, which can draw us another card, as well as Gazelle in hand. We also have the Bay Links in the... <laughs> We also have the Bay Links in the Grave to protect all of our um, Salomon Grid cards. And, of course, Baguska is baguska -ing. So, all in all, this is a very, very solid uh, build or field that you want to 
depend on if you have the most names. But oftentimes, sal Salad is more situated as a slower control strategy that wants to just utilize hand traps and the like, similar to things like Live Twin or um, or Sky Striker or what have you. Um, so yeah, there you go. All right, so the last thing that I want to do that I always like to do at the end of these combo videos is showcase some test hands. So I'm playing a 44 card version. Normally, I would cut it down to like 42, 41 ish. Um, but all in all, it doesn't really matter. And we're just going to showcase what the deck can do. So this is honestly a very good start. We're going to go for the sign at mining here in order to pitch our Jack Jaguar to add, of course, the Gazelle. Gazelle will then uh, automatically special summon itself since it was in the hand. It can activate its effect, which will then pitch the... We're going to pitch the Rage. Uh, yeah. So the biggest thing with this deck is just kind of trying to figure out where you want to go at the end of your combo because you do need to... Early on in your combo, after activating Gazelle, you do need to determine what you are trying to end on, right? Uh, can you go for the Rage, or do you need more materials to go for that Sunlight Wolf play? Here, we have enough materials that since we haven't normal summoned it, we can utilize the Foxy to potentially get something there, or even if we don't get anything off of Foxy, we can go Pot of Desires to add more as well. We're going to just link the Gazelle off into order to go for the Bay Lynx. We're going to activate the Bailinks effect here, and we are going to add it to our hand, the Sanctuary. I'm actually going to activate the Pot of Desires here, and we are going to banish 10. Uh, we did banish the second Gazelle, so that's very funny. Um, but, okay. We're going to draw two. Draw one. Draw two. Perfect. Two hand traps is actually really good here. Uh, the reason being... Simply put, we have most of the combo that we already want to see, so adding disruption is really what we need. Uh, we're going to then normal summon out the Foxy here, and we're going to activate the effect in order to reveal three. Uh, Spinny, Roar, and Nibiru. So obviously we can't add the Nibiru here, uh, so we're just going to put that into the top of the deck. Uh, again, this kind of depends on what you want to end on. I think ending on... Uh, I, I think we kind of need a Spinny here. I think that's a little bit more necessary, so we're going to add this card to our hand. And the Roar is nice, but not necessary, since we are already going to end on Rage, as well as multiple other disruptions. Uh, does this put them at the top of the deck? Uh, no, it shuffles them. Okay. So we'll shuffle those, and then we will send these two to the graveyard in order to go for our Sunlight Wolf. We're then going to activate right. the Sanctuary and relink into another Sunlight Wolf, which will then allow us to go for the Jack Jaguar player. So we're going to special summon this guy by, by returning this one to the extra deck, and then this will trigger our Sunlight Wolf. This, this will trigger our Sunlight Wolf, which will then allow us to add back to the hand the Gazelle. We're also going to then activate the effect of the Sunlight Wolf again in order to add the Rage back to our hand. And then we can link this guy off if we want to. Uh, we also could go Spinny here to go for the... Um, yeah, let's do that. So we're going to send this guy to the graveyard. So we're going to go and boost one of our monsters. Doesn't really matter which one because it's only to the end of the turn. And then we're going to link both of these off in order to special summon out the Splash Mage. This is the play that I was talking about. Uh, we're going to activate the Splash Mage in order to bring out the Jack Jaguar. Yes. Uh, sorry, I was trying to think if we had access to another three, but we don't. So then we will link these guys off into a... Not Helio. Uh, Heat Soul. We're going to go and activate the Heat Soul effect. We are going to pay 1,000. And look at that. This is how the deck is supposed to be. You know, this is more or less how the deck functions, right? Multiple hand traps in our hand, multiple interactions, but nothing too crazy. We're not ending on an insane board. It's mostly interactions in the hand, as well as additional follow-up through things like the Gazelle, the utilization of a second Jack Jaguar, uh, Foxy as well. Uh, and then, of course, on the opponent's main or er, draw phase, we get to draw another card. And look at that. It's a second Maxi. Not that it matters, but there you go. So, oh yeah, all in all, that's something pretty standard as to what you can expect. All right, so this time we actually started off with Flame Bufferlow, and we also have Pot of Desires and Spinny, so that's pretty good overall. We're going to start off with the Flame Bufferlow, obviously. We're going to send it to the graveyard in order to go for the Bay Lynx. We're going to also uh, activate Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2. We're going to pitch the Spinny. We're going to also add to our hand the Sanctuary. <clears throat> 
We're going to let that shuffle. We're going to draw one. We're going to draw two. Wow, double Ash Blossom. That's hilarious. Did you know that you can also add Ash Blossom off of the effect of the Sunlight Wolf uh, when a monster is summoned to a Link Zone? Meaning, if your opponent is silly enough, and I'll just show you. I'll show you. Uh, we're going to go for the Sanctuary here. I'm actually going to activate the effect of Pot of Desires here. And we are going to banish. Let's see what we end up banishing. Uh, okay, cool. We didn't banish a gazelle. That's all we kind of want. Um, we did banish both the will of the Salomon Grace. We banished a circle, so that's a little annoying. But we're going to draw two. Okay, there's... Wow, double gazelle. Hilarious. What, what is my hand? What is happening? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we're going to then special summon out the spinny here. We're going to send this to the grave. Uh, sorry, this one will get banished. Binich. Uh, which will then allow us to special summon out your boy and then special summon out Gazelle. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, Sunlight Wolf can add Ash. Ah, yes. So let's say we had to utilize the Ash here. Um, so we'll send this to the graveyard. Let's say we had it in our opening hand. We had to Ash a Max C. So what we can actually do is I'm going to move this uh, over over here. Uh, so on summon here, we get to trigger the Sunlight Wolf as well as the Gazelle. Now Sunlight Wolf can add any fire monster. Um, so we're just going to add back our Ash Blossom. Now, realistically, given the hand that we have, this is not a good play. We should definitely add back the Flame Buffalo or wait until we can utilize it to add back a Gazelle. But since we already have Gazelle, actually that, yeah, just add back the Flame Buffalo. But we do get to dump a card here as well. Uh, I'm going to dump the... I think I have to kind of dump the Jack Jaguar. Oh, do I? Can't really utilize that now, can I? Uh, what do I have engraved? Flame. Okay. I normally try to keep the zones open for Jack Jaguar, which is why I originally didn't put the gazelle there. Because um, now this is kind of messing with things. We're going to dump the rage here. We're going to then activate the effect of our Sunlight Wolf in order to add back the rage to the hand, and then we're going to link off all of this to the grave. To the grave you go. Oh, sorry. Uh, this would have gone into Link Karibo, or Ling Garibo. The gazelle goes into Ling Garibo, and then out comes the Heat Soul, and we get to draw another card. Uh, Flame Buffalo. Well, turns out I did make the right play, adding back the Ash Blossom, because Flame Buffalo off of the top. Sounds good. We're going to go set one, set two, and set a third. Hope and pray that my opponent doesn't have a Lightning Storm or a uh, Feather Duster, and we're going to draw again for turn. Maxi, fantastic. There you go. That's the deck. Um, yeah. So, all in all, I hope that you guys are able to more comprehend what you can do with the salad cards. Uh, I'm sure I didn't cover everything in particular, and I'm sure I messed up one of the combos here or there. I always do in these combo videos. It's pretty difficult to remember all of the little intricacies, um, and Master Duo really does help you understand, like, oh, I can and I can't do this. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I never talked about the transcode talker line, uh, so I'll quickly talk about it. Uh, or the transcode update jammer. Uh, basically, any two effect monsters goes into the transcode talker. You go into the transcode talker, you bring back one of your um, level four or lower monsters, uh, so that or level two, yeah, level two or higher cyber monsters. Basically, any of your Salomon greats at all. Uh, you bring back one of those, and then as long as you have another uh, another access to a um, a. Salomon Great. Oh my gosh, I literally forgot their names. Uh, as long as you have another access to another one of those monsters, you are able to go into the update jammer there. Um, now, do do note, Transcode Talker does specifically summon to its link zone. Uh, so keep that link zone open. Uh, you can link it off into a, a different extra monster zone if you need to or something like that. Um, but yeah, then you go into the update jammer with two of your Cypress monsters. Uh, you link all of those away in order to go into the access code. You go chain link one update jammer, chain link two access code so that they can't respond to you. And then you get to go uh, access code target the trans code. And then you are able to uh, have a 5,300 5, attack point monster that can pop the entire opponent's field while being able to attack twice, which is lethal damage by itself. You don't need anything else. You just need that one card. Boom, you're done. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much more or less how you win the duel. Um, so... Sorry, I didn't explain that. It's pretty.
pretty simple though, uh, especially in Master Duel. Just make sure that you get your chain links right. Uh, update Jammer, then access code. There you go. Um, other than that, I hope that you guys were able to find this useful. Uh, anyway, that, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy it. If you did, a like is very much so appreciated. And if you want to check out more content like this, as well as more Yu-Gi-Oh!, then just be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to always, stay frosty. Bye-bye. Shout out to the Frost Guard, my members. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope you enjoy the content.